Good morning, students. Welcoming to that next video class, children. Have you prepared that last class portion? Say yes or no? Yes, good. What are the things learned that previous class, children? Do you remember that? Yes, good. Tell me, classification of living organism. Is it correct? So there we have learned that is the kingdom of system classification. So based on that two kingdom system of classification, three kingdom system of classification, four kingdom, five kingdom, up to seven kingdom we had completed. Isn't it children? Say yes or no? Yes, good. Shall I ask you a question? What are the three types of domains children? What are the three types of domains? Very good. Bacteria, Archaea and Eukarya. So these are the three domains of the life. Which person introduced this? Coral moves. Is it clear? Yes, good. Then today's class, we are moving to the next topic, children, bacteria. So we had completed that virus. So today's class, we are going to learn about this is the bacteria. Clear? First one, based on that beneficial and then harmful activities. Okay? That related, the bacteria so they comes to the friend and foes. Foes means that's the enemies. Clear? But based on that, it's a beneficial and harmful activities. The bacteria so they comes to friend and foes. Or that is the enemies. Clear? I am asking that one question, children. Please try to check that answer. If that in your home preparation of this curd, what things they change milk into curd, children? Very good. Tell me. Good. Very good. So there is presence of this one of this bacteria. That's a bacteria is the lactobacillus lactis. So this is the bacteria. Okay. So that bacteria, the conversion of this milk into curd. Is it clear? Yes. Then, so this changes the surface is happen, isn't it? So due to that is the presence of lactic acid formation. So that is the soreness is the presence in a curd. Clear children? Then also, then typhoid. Which bacterial bacteria they causing this typhoid children? Do you know that bacterial name? Very good. Salmonella typhi. Okay, so this is the bacterium they causing the diseases of typhoid. So of a certain some of this beneficial activities also there and some of the harmful activities also there. Clear? Yes. Then next we are going to learn about what's mean by bacterium. If we are looking, this is the bacteria which is so this is the microscopic organisms. Okay, so this is a very very minute organism. So this one has unicellular in nature. Then, so this is the bacteria which mostly they comes under in a prokaryotic organisms. Okay, if we are looking means so, so everywhere, so abicutus, I mean, so everywhere, everywhere they present this is the bacterial cell. Okay, then if that bacteriology, bacteriology means the study of this bacteria that is known as bacteriology. Clear? First one, this bacteria, they discovered that person name is known as Antiguan Leeuwenhoek. Okay? So he is a Dutch scientist, which is right. In the year of 1676, that person has, they discovered that is the bacteria in that through this microscope, common microscope. Okay? First, initially, this bacteria is they are called as an animal pools. After only they are giving this is the name as bacteria. Understood, Bob? Say yes or no, children? Yes. Next one, we are going to learn about some of the general characteristic features of bacteria. If we are making this is the bacterial cell means, so this is already, I said, this is one of the prokaryotic organism. Prokaryotic organism is what's the meaning, children? 
Very good. There is no nuclear membrane and then no membrane bound organelles. Okay, so that is we are called as a prokaryotic organism. Then if we are looking, this is the prokaryotic organism. One of the best example of this is the structure of bacterial cell. Okay, clear? Yes. So this cell, if we are looking, this is that bacteria. Prokaryotic organism, but without its membrane bound nucleus. But anyway, their presence in a genetic material. Okay, this genetic material is we are called as the name is known as incipient nucleus or gynophore or that nucleoid. The three terms we are using in that is the very good. So that is a genetic material, nucleoid, gynophore, and incipient nucleus. So these are the three names. They are telling in that is the genetic material of this bacterial chromosomes. Yeah. The next one, that's a cell wall. The cell wall they present in a polysaccharides and then protein molecules are they present in that is a cell wall of this bacterial cell. Then if we are looking in this is that that's a mode of nutrition means so here they present in a heterotrophic mode of nutrition and also so they are present in a that is a autotrophic mode of nutrition is also present in that one. Okay. Next one, what is the general characteristic features of bacteria means so that's a asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means so that one is that one is they takes place in a only two methods are like one is binary fission. And another one is endospore formation. Okay, so don't forget. We are going to learn later this one, the reproduction cell. Right? So at that time, I will ask this is the questions again. Don't forget. What are the asexual method of reproduction? Very good. Binary fission and another one more. Uh, very good. What is that? Endospore formation. Clear? Yeah? Then. The sexual reproduction methods also takes place in that virus or cell. Right? So through recombination, I mean, on the gene transfer method. Okay, that's a DNA. That's a gene transfer method. So that one is they takes place through the recombination. So there also that takes place of this asexual re sorry sexual reproduction. Now, the, what are the methods? Means conjugation method. Transformation and transduction. Okay. What are the sexual method of reproduction? Ma? Very good. Just you say that the three names follow. Try to children. Conjugation, transformation, and transduction. Understood? Ma? Say yes or no? Yes. Good. Next one we are going to learn about that is the shapes and flagellation. Okay. So the next one is we are going to learn about. Shape and flagellation. First one, the shapes of this bacteria that base they are defined in a four shapes: caucus, baseless, spirillum, and vibrio. Okay, so based on that the shape of this bacteria, these four common shapes are available. The caucus means so they come under in a many shapes: diplococcus. Then streptococcus and staphylococcus, tetracoccus, sarsine. So these are the some of the subtypes of caucus type of bacteria. Clear? The next one is basilus. Basilus also there some subtypes are there. Let's say diplobasilus types. Okay? So there is their presence in a diplobasilus. Then next two types are spirillum and vibrio. So these are the some of the shapes of this bacteria. So if you look this. Picture first one is I said no caucus type. The caucus also they come under in some of the subtypes in red Staphylococcus and very good. So that's a tetracoccus. That's a four only there. The next one is a streptococcus. That's a chain like then sarsine. Clear? So these are the some of the subtypes of caucus type of bacteria. Clear? Then this is the second one type children bacillus. The basin is also diplobasilus. Diplobasilus means so diplo di di means so that is two bacterial cells are divided. Clear? Then next one is a spirillum type and the last one is vibrio type. Clear, children? So these are the common shapes of this bacterial cell. Understood, ma? Clear? Yes. Good. Next one we are going to learn about this is the 
very good flagellation based on that flagellation okay based on that number of the flagella and then position of the flagella okay number and the presence in the position of the flagella that based so they are dividing this type of the flagellation first one is monotrichus lophotrichus amphitrichus peritrichus atrichus what are the flagellation types in red can you repeat this yes good tell me please monotrichus lophotrichus amphitrichus peritrichus atrichus i mean monotrichus means only one flagella they attach in the only one side that is known as monotrichus clear the next one is lophotrichus mean so there is a two or more number of the flagella there is attach in that only one side of the bacterial cell clear that is known as lophotrichus then amphitrichus means so there is a cluster of flagellation i mean the group of the flagella they attach in the both the sides of the bacterial cell means so that is we are called amphitrichus understood next one peritrichus means so this is the bacterial cell around the cell surface the flagella is are present means so that is we are called as the type name is known as peritrichus a trichus means without that the flagella is present in the bacterial cell that's known as we are called as the name is known as a trichus understood children so this is the common shapes and that's a flagella of bacteria clear yes good next one we are going to learn about that's one of the detailed study of this one of the five mark question ultra structure of bacterial cell okay so this ultra structure of bacterial cell if you are looking that's one me so this bacteria they shows that's a three region children first one is cytogalax cell wall and cytoplasm okay first one cytogalax means that's a very very outermost layer okay so that is they are called as the name is known as cytogalax understood next one is cell wall inner to this is the cytogalax layer understood ma that's known as cell wall that's a yellow color okay next so that's a layer is the plasma membrane so this is the one of this layer clear and the next one is cytoplasm so this is the center of this portion okay so this line there shows that is the three regions understood let us learn that one by one clear yes good first one we are going to learn about that is capsule or cytogalax so here the cytogalax or capsule so this is that some bacteria so their presence in a, one of the gelatinous substance cell right? that gelatinous substance they made there is a composition there is a one of the substances they present there polypeptide and there is a polysaccharide in some cases that is a both items are present okay so that bacteria they present in a gelatinous substance okay then what do you mean by capsule or cytogalax very very important one of the two mark question okay here one of the very thick layer okay so that is the one of the very thick layer of this cytogalax that is formed to the so that is very tightly very tightly they present to the cell wall that's known as capsule okay so there is a very tightly they presents to the this is cell wall region that's known as we are calling as the name is known as capsule okay what do you mean by capsule means so here there's one of the thick layer of the cytogalax so that one is they bounded to the very good they bounded to the next to the cell wall region okay so this is the cell wall the next to the cell wall region that's known as capsule so this is the pink color Understood, ma? Say yes, sir, ma? Yes. Then, so maximum, mainly this is the major functions of this capsule or cytogalax. They giving in a protections. Protections means 
uh, from that is the antibiotics. Okay, so that are the things that is the bacteria, this is the capsule region, they giving in a protection. And also, already I said, so this is one of the thick, viscous in nature. I mean, just a thicky like nature. Okay, so that is a just a sticky like nature. Okay, what does that use of this sticky like nature means? Here, the sticky nature of this capsule, so that's why, so this one is attaching in that in plant root surfaces. And then human beings, that's a teeth part. And then some of the tissues, okay, the body tissues, there also this can able to stick in, okay. So attached to the branch, this is the help for this, the bacteria itself. Clear children? So that is the functions or that is the, what are the importance of capsule or glycogenics. First you say that to answer, what do you mean by capsule or glycogenics? Then after that, what are the functions of capsule or Glycogenics. Understood children? Say sir Nama. Yes. Then next we are moving in a cell wall region. Cell wall already I said. The cell wall region. So this is the capsule next to do that. Okay. The cell wall means first one there is a granular and a rigid in nature. The cell wall so that one is they giving in a protection of the cell. Very very important point. So they are giving in a protection. And also they are giving in a one of the definite shape of that particular cell. Okay. So this is the bacterial cell. They are giving in a one of the definite shapes. That's a major duty for the cell wall radius. Understood? Ma? Say so no. Then so this is the cell wall region also. They are present in a, some of the chemical compounds. Okay. The chemical compounds means so they are present in a peptidoglycan and mucopeptide, N acetamide, muramic acid, then some of this amino acids, the peptide bonds, okay. So then they are present in a four or five amino acids, so they make it in that is the peptide chain. These all the things are they present in that one. Clear? Then mainly, so here that is one of the very very important one of this that's a polypeptide they present in that so the, that's a cell wall region children that polypeptide name is known as porin okay what is the molecule children porin molecule okay what is the major use for that's a porin polypeptide molecule space so that one is they helping for that diffusion of this solute molecules so that one is going inside and outside that's a diffusion process the solute molecules of the diffusing process that's the cell wall region the presence of this the boring molecule is helping clear children say yes or no yes next one we are moving to that set next one plasma membrane okay the plasma membrane so that is they made up of in that is the this region the plasma membrane is made up of so that is the lipoprotein molecules lipids and protein substances there. So this is the area, this is the membrane only. They can entry and existing of the cells. Okay? But some of the smallest molecules are inside they going and out coming. So these are the entry and exiting of the small molecules and ions. So these are the things so that's checking that's a major duty for this which layer very good, that's a plasma membrane. This is third layer, plasma membrane. Are you clear, children? Say yes or no, ma? Yes. Then also, here they present in some of the enzymes. Enzymes means, so some of the metabolic related activities, they are involving in a certain type of the enzyme. And also, that's a photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis process also, some of the photosystem, that's some enzymes are there. All the enzymes are they present in that the regions of this plasma membrane. Clear children? Say yes or no? Yes, very good. But just you say about what is that plasma membrane is? It is made up of in a lipoprotein molecules. So that is the major role that is controlling in a entering and existing. Entering and existing of this, the smaller molecules and ions. And also, so they are present in some of the enzymes, children. The enzymes are 
they involve maintenance of the metabolic related activities and oxidation process these are the things and also that's a photosystem photosystem is so there is a photosynthetic process photosynthesis process involves certain enzymes that also they presence in the regions of plasma membrane clear ma yes next one cytoplasm the next one is the cytoplasm already i told this so this is the center region that's we are called cytoplasm the cytoplasm if we are making that's the nature is a very very thick kind of semi transparent in nature clear so here they present in a ribosomes and then there is a chromosome bacterial chromosomes and cell inclusions cell inclusions means so they present in a glycogen some of the granules and sulfur granules and then some of the gas vesicles okay so these all the things are they present in a, this is the semi transparent nature of the cytoplasm area okay just if we are looking that's the nature of the cytoplasm is that's very very thick in nature clear say yes or no yes then one by one what are the things are available inside this is the bacterial cell first one bacterial chromosomes already we learned that's a bacterial chromosome as we are called as three name do you remember that please tell me children very good nuclear incipient nucleus and gynophore isn't it so these are the three names they are calling in that is the bacterial chromosomes clear yes first one this nucleus one of this very amazing fact of this dna molecule of this bacterial chromosome 1 mm long okay so this is the example is for e coli bacteria escherichia coli this is the bacterial cell okay that's the name so here this is the 1 mm length long of this dna particle dna molecule all the genetic information that is stored for this area clear children right? whatever that is the genetic information needed for this organism that's a 1 mm unco i mean so there is a coiled conditions so they stored for this items understood ma say yes or no yes then also here this is that this material sometimes that is attaching to this is the one end is in the plasma membrane what is the purpose they attaching to this is the bacterial chromosomes that one end is to that is the plasma membrane means sometimes the separation i mean the replication time so that can be the separation of the two chromosomes okay so the, after this is the dna replication dna multiplication so that can be the cells or they separated into two that's the purpose only the one end is attached to the plasma membrane region clear next one is we are going to learn about this is the plasmid plasmids means so this like one structure is there so what i mean by plasmids means so this is one of the extra chromosomal double stranded self replicating autonomous element so that is the definition as they are giving in a plasmid plasmids means so here this is the organ so this is a double stranded very good so that's a extra chromosomal very good so that's a self replicating autonomous element is they are defined as the term is known as plasmids clear the size of the plasmid is that is varies from that is a um 1 to 500 kilobytes there is varying of this um, size cell right so here they present in a fertility and antibiotic resistance and heavy metal tolerance all this is the tolerance genes they present in this items of plasmid okay then also this plasmid is classified into different that is the types i mean based on the function based okay the plasmids they are classified in the some of the types cell right so that based so they are comes under r factor and then so there is a f factor and cold plasmids ti plasmid ri plasmids so these all the some of the types of the different types of this that is the plasmids clear up which based they are classifying this factors very good so there is based on their functions based only they are classified this type of the plasmids names 
clear so that mean by f means so that the fertility factor gene is present in this one and then so there is a or means some of the resistant type of this plasmids okay then ta means tumor inducing plasmids and or means that is a root inducing plasmids so these are the certain types of the plasmids they present they are categorizing based on their functions understood ma say yes or no yes next one we are going to learn about this is the mesosome so this is the idea mesosome okay just one of this infolding like structures so that one as they present in the plasma membrane they producing to the cell is known as that's the mesosome just they form the vesicles or that is the, some uh, tubules and then lamellae like structures only they form this is the infolding like structures of the mesosomes Understood? So here, this is mainly this is the mesosomes. They helps for this. I mean, so there is a two major two functions. Children, one is respiration and another one is binary fusion. So what is mean by mesosome? From which region there is arising for this is the mesosome? And then, what is the major functions of the mesosome? So there is involving in a respiration and the binary fusion. Understood? Now, yes. Next one. Polysomes and the polyribosomes. Polysomes and the polyribosomes means so here they present in the polysomes and the polyribosomes. The first one, the ribosome already you know about this. That's the site of this protein synthesis. Okay, the ribosomes they are present in the that is the major site of this protein synthesis. So here. That's the varying varying of this ribosomes numbers. In sometimes so there is they present in a ten to around fifteen thousand ribosomes molecules. So they present in a various species to species. Clear? Then also the ribosomes mostly they present in a two types. Similar one is seventy S type and another one is eighty S type. Clear? So these are the two types of this the ribosomes molecules. So they present in this area. Then what do you mean by polysomes and polyribosomes means? So all of you listen, children. The ribosomes are held together by mRNA to form in it polyribosomes or polysomes. Understood? The ribosomes are they held together by mRNA molecule. That's known as that's they held together by that say mRNA. That is we are called as the name is known as polyribosomes or that is the polysomes. Okay, so one of the two more questions, children. So I should prepare thoroughly. What do you mean by polysomes and polyribosomes? Clear, children? Say yes or no. Yes. Next one, flagella. Flagella means so this is the part. Okay. So here there is a not a equal. Okay, not equal size of this. Outgrowth like structures. I mean, so there is a just a one projection like structures. The hair-like projection that is arises from there is a cell wall region that's known as flagella. Clear? There is a not a equal length of this hair-like projection that is arises from the cell wall of this flagella. Cell wall of this bacterial cell that's known as flagella. Clear, children? Suppose this flagella. So if we are uh, looking, this is the size and that is the uh, diameter means. So first you want the diameter is twenty to thirty mu m diameter and length is fifteen mu m length. Okay. So that's the length and the diameter they are mentioning in this is the flagella. The cell length is the fifteen mu m. And there is the diameter is there from twenty to thirty mu m. Clear? Yes. Suppose if you are looking, this is the eukaryotic flagella. This is the prokaryotic flagella. Clear? Let's say eukaryotic flagella means so they are present in the nine plus two arrangements. I mean nine plus two arrangements means nine microtubules so are they present in the one circuit and then two of them they present. In the, the center ranges. Okay, so if we are looking, this is that very good. So this is that one of this uh, 
flagellum means if you are thinking this is the eukaryotic flagellum means the nine microtubules are arranging this like direction okay so here they present in a nine and then center based also they present in a two so this like nine plus two arrangements of the microtubules are they present in the bacterium cell clear to you say some what is the major use for this flagellum what is the major use for flagellum very good used for locomotion isn't it that's the major functions of flagella then finally we are going to learn about that's the last one pili or fimbri okay so the pili or fimbri means so this one that is arises in a just to have like outgrowth that is formed in a surface of this cell wall region that's known as they are called as the name is known as fimbriae or pili clear so here If we are looking, this is the pili. So sometimes, so here they present in a one of this additional pili children. That additional pili name is we are called as the name is known as sex pili. Clear? That sex pili that is only involving in a the conjugation function. Okay? So all of you listen. So that's the pili or fimbriae means. So here that is the. have like outgrowth or that's a have like appendages that is arises from the cell wall region understood this cell wall region the arising of this villi one of the special additional type of the villi also found there that villi is mainly that is helping for that is the conjugation process conjugation is one of the sexual method of reproduction okay if we are going to learn that is a sexual method of reproduction conjugation method that time i will tell what is the use and how that is the forming of this that's a conjugate sex pili understood ka say some more so these are the concept only you need to write this is one of the five mark question i'll draw structure of bacterial cell understood ka say some more sometimes they will ask that's a diagram part is alone Draw and label the structure of bacterial cell. Okay. Sometimes they will ask that it explain that the ultra structure of bacterial cell. Okay. Okay. Students, all of you listen. I am going to give that one of the homework children. First, you should prepare that cell. Some one word, two mark, and three mark question based. And the next, I am going to give that one of the class work one. Please, all of you. Try to draw this the diagram in your classwork note. Okay, children. Will you draw? Yes. Good. Very good. Thank you, students. Thank you.